So today we're going to be reviewing the armor sets from Iron Banner and we're going to be doing the Hunter, Titan and Warlock in that order. We're going to start with my Hunter because he's my main obviously, but a few things to note. I'm disappointed that this armor set does not have ornaments for the other Iron Banner armor sets from the past seasons. And that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to put out there first. So let's start off with the helmet and we're going to go down. I think the helmet's weak. I think it's very weak. This looks like uh, the helmet from the Iron Simiki, if I remember correctly, which is right here. Yeah, Iron Simiki. I looks almost exactly the same. Well, okay, I'll I'll give you that. It does not look exactly the same, but it feels very familiar to it. And honestly, I'm not. I don't care it's whatever the only reason I probably would use this and to be honest I will never use this it looks really bad in my opinion but if I would did is because I would be going for like a power range type thing but let's go to the arms I think the arms is the thing that kind of pisses me off the most and is actually the ar one armor set that I will use so if you guys can see right here it has clipping issues just from the, from the just from them showing me the armor set it has clipping issues which is a huge like really just mm, it really pisses me off because look at that still has clipping when he extends his arm and then when he puts it back to a comfortable uh position it goes back to clipping so i think that's horrible not only that but this is but this also reminds me of another armor set which is this one right here uh, this one right here which basically let me change the color so does not look the same from here I know like this it's like no that looks different Tony yeah it does but it's the whole like one 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 side's armored the other side's not which is also a thing from from this armor set I just need to stop just pressing I I think it's this one where one side's armored and the other side's not but it's small it's just this so i don't mind it on that one but the fact that they gave it to gave it to us again just kind of pisses me off a little i know this one's fully armored but yeah arms aside from that clipping issue i'll probably use these chest piece is nothing crazy i think it's fine very generic i've seen this chest piece in other armor sets god damn it, i need to stop doing that like these two right here looks exactly the same as that not exactly mind you but it does look very familiar which is one thing i just don't like i don't like feeling like it's like i look at these armor sets and it's like ah, deja vu and i don't like that so that's disappointing i'm not even going to go back because i'm going to tell you right now i don't like these legs these legs are gross in my opinion i think uh yeah they're not that good they're too bulky for a hunter and that's my, one of my, the things i've been bitching about the most these past armor sets that we've gotten is that a lot of the legs are too bulky a lot of the arms are too bulky for a hunter hunters should not be bulky hunters are known for their agility and swiftness why are you giving me bulky shit that's why that's what i'm like at right now because like this does not look bulky that looks bulky not bulky like you see what i'm trying to say and last but not least the cloak cloaks bad mad disappointing bro look at this does not change color that orange does not change color and it continues to be something that i just am puzzled about why do you guys keep giving us pieces of armor that don't change color like if i'm if i if i'm being really nitpicky the green straps don't change color they never change color so that's if i wanted to be really nitpicky yeah the those straps never change color and that's a big fucking issue like can you guys stop making armor where i can't change the color of stuff because that literally just means okay cool so that means i'm just not using this thankfully the armor the color set that i'm using now goes blends well because it's green but other than that it's, it's disappointing uh Aside from maybe the arms, I probably won't use anything, any of the, of this, because 
the only reason I use this is 951 and I think the stats are okay. But if I'm being real, this is probably how I would look like. This is probably how it would look like. This is the the way I view my my hunter, how he looks. But if I'm doing PvP, I'll probably just do this. Yeah, I just I think it's mad disappointing. Like the fact that I'm not using the legs because they look cool, but just because they have a pretty good stat roll for me, and because I can just transmog it somewhat, something else. So that's a little disappointing. But let's go to the Titan. So next on the list, Titan. I think the Titans, to be honest, have the strongest Iron Banner set this season. They look really cool. They look like a soldier in the field, ready to about to beat that ass. They look really cool. They for sure win this. They look so cool. So let's start off with the helmet. That All that positivity, I think the helmet's the weakest part from them. I think it's just disappointing. Let's go to the collections and do them from there since I'm gonna be calling out to these. So like I said, the, the helmet's just disappointing in my opinion. It's very lackluster. Doesn't go well with the armor set in my opinion. I think it could have used a little more something because it just reminds me too much of the Iron Samiki helmet. Like, it reminds me too much of it. And although I do think the Iron Samiki one is a lot stronger, I think the jaw should have, like, it should have gone down a little more. Like, I don't know what it is, but all the Iron Banner sets have been very just meh, meh, whatever. And I'm not the only one that's thought of this. I know there's more people like me that's just like, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think the arms are are the best arms we've seen so far. I don't know how it looks on males, but on females, it looks dope. It looks really cool. It's not bulky at all, even though I, I do like bulky. But they these two kind of remind me of like these two right here. More this one than anything else. Not saying I'm not saying the arms are bad or that oh they're reskins, but I don't like it when I look look at an armor and immediately sense deja vu. I don't like that. So I'm not like I said I'm not saying these are exactly the same or that they're the same. I'm just saying that I get that sense of deja vu when I see the armor or a lot of armors to be to be honest. Like this one and this one and this one to some extent. Like dog like this especially these two though. Like this one. It has this right here, and it's literally just connected to one breastplate, clipped on and stuff. Uh, and then we go to the other one. It's literally same thing here, connected to one breastplate, and it's like, it's almost the same. It's just like the background's a little different. Like I said, though, I'm not saying that they're exact reskins or that they're they're super similar. It's just, it's like this one looks so uh, more different because this right here. If I have this armor set with like a helmet that like with I forgot the uh, insurmountable skull front for it, the ornament for it. If I had that, that sh I would look like a tank. I would look cool. So I at least like this one more because of this check this choke piece right here. This shit look makes me look like a juggernaut. But there's just there's nothing here. I really wish it was a little bit more ornamental or something. I think the leg pieces are the best, the strongest pieces for the for the Titans. It makes you look very swift, noble, and all this other shit. It looks really cool. I love how it looks. And I don't have anything negative to say about these. These are actually probably the best legs in the game right now. And I would put these with other small armor pieces to make me look like, like a swift Titan. And that's the thing that look that I like about this. I do think that the hunters should have gotten these these leg pieces because the hunters are they should be swift looking. So that aside, yeah, these look awesome. And then we get to the the mark. Disappointing. Kaka. Not gonna. Yeah, the orange doesn't change color like I said, which is a huge disappointment considering this probably would have been really dope if the if the orange was white, and it goes well with the armor, but. For some fucking reason, someone in Bungie's just like, no, you can't change the color because that I, I like the oh, what the fuck ever, dog. Get over yourself. So that's pretty much it for the Titans. To be honest, 
I have not decided what I'm gonna look for if I even use all, all this armor. The way I've been looking for my Titan is basically just like this, to be honest. Yeah, this is how I've been looking. And if not, like, if, I don't, if I'm not doing PvP, I'll probably be end up doing like something like this with this for the extra fur or this one. And I haven't decided, like, I still haven't decided how my Titan's gonna look because a rule I have when I'm doing my, how I, how my guardians look is that they have to wear different pieces of armor from different seasons and different stuff. So I'm not there yet with my, my Titan, but I will get there soon. So let's look at the Warlock now. And finally, we have the Warlock's armor set, which I, mm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm not, not a big fan of this one. Not a big fan of this one either. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Go to the armor sets. And not gonna lie, this helmet's uh, caca. It's gross. I, I don't like it. It's uh, gross looking. It's very, very gross looking actually. And overall, I'll never use this helmet because it looks really gross. Oh, that's right. I'm done. But yeah, like, not a big fan of it. I think uh, it looks super basic, bro. That's the thing. Like, compare this season three helmet looks cool as fuck to this caca. Bro, I, I like day and night, bro. Day and night. Not only that, but it's kind of. Actually, no, nah, that's, that's not fair. I think this one's more unique than the other ones because this one's just like that, smaller. Looks really weird. I always thought this one looked weird. But yeah, I, I would not say this is. This doesn't come close to any other helmets. Like look wise, doesn't give me that type of like feel. That being said, I it's still bad. The arms, not gonna lie, all the arms for the warlocks are pretty garbage. I don't see the difference really. So I'm, just, like I said, whatever. Chest piece is garbage, super garbage. Uh, the fact that the orange does not change color is a big fucking nope in my opinion. Why do you keep doing this? I do not know, but the fact that that's still there is just kind of like, dog, like, why are you doing this? Who are you? Who hurt you? Not only that, but this does remind me of other armor sets like this one, where it's like one, ar one chest piece and then just the fucking robe. But the cool thing about the Warlocks is they have much more going on than that. There's like this right here. There's this right here. There's more. I'm not going to say it's not. There's more. There's a, there's a collar there. This one. There's a bigger collar here. The whole thing wasn't here, but they have little art, like the little Japanese wood thing right there. There's no floop like the other ones, but there is a big floop here. So there's more going on. So it's just that... I can pinpoint what reminds me of what better in other classes than this one. Like this one's like has a whole thing here. So I'm not saying the Warlocks have like the weakest armor sets or whatnot. It's just, I think they, there's just looks really boring. And it's a, it's a shame because if you look like, again, this, that looks cool. I mean, it looks basic, but these are boots. Boots for Warlocks always look garbage. But like, if you look like, look at this. I love this. This looks cool. This looks almost, I feel like almost royalty. I think the weakest part from this armor was like right here. It looks really weird. Other than that, this looks, this look cool. It would have been cooler if it had like armor going up on like as a, as a collar, but yeah, it's just disappointing Mark or this is a band, a bond, whatever disappointing. It's just it's, it's literally just like a piece of art like a piece of iron just welded on you it's not even it's it's not even on you bro <laughs> it's mm, mm. but that's not this it's it's fine though because if we really get nitpicky about it this is what the other one was this is from season three so the the mar the bonds have always been weak for four warlocks in my opinion always been weak i should have given them something else but that aside everything's just kind of like whatever this one reminds me of this leg piece because of the whole like strap thing right there but they they're weak i think the armor set's weak 
And to be honest, I won't use any of this because this is how I usually look. And this is how I usually look for my, my Warlock. She looks really cool. She looks really cool, actually. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much my video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think uh, I think the armor sets for Iron Banner are really disappointing. There's a lot of clipping issues. There's a lot of just boring shit added on. And overall, just disappointed. Thankfully, some armor sets for me were a little higher level for stat-wise. Other than that, this is a pretty, this is pretty garbage. It's pretty garbage. I'm not gonna lie. Other than that, let me know what you guys think about the armor sets. Uh, am I wrong? Do, do they actually look cool? I'm probably not wrong because this is my opinion. But you can try to tell me I'm wrong in the comments below. Other than that, like the video if you liked it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And I will see you guys later.